Hello again, I'm Dr. Nunez with Living Health. This is a series of videos on how the choices you make and how you live your life, your lifestyle, can impact your health and sense of well-being. It is in a very real sense how you can take responsibility, how you can take action and make good choices that improves your health. If you like these, uh, these kinds of videos and this kind of series, please press the thumbs up, press subscribe and press the little bell icon so you can be notified of other videos as they come through. The area that we're speaking of is called lifestyle medicine. It's a large area that encompasses a lot of prevention in healthcare. These are things individuals can do on their own. Now lately I've been speaking in the last few videos on exercise. In the last video I alluded to the fact that uh, you shouldn't take time away from sleep to exercise. And I mention that now because there was a recent study that was just published in Nature on the correlation between sleep and dementia. So the study was a long retrospective study where they were looking at uh, how, how uh, extensively people sleep, whether it's less than six hours, seven hours or more, and noticing, well, what happens to these people? Do some of them develop dementia? And it seems like 25 to 30% of the, the study uh, participants that slept less than six hours did develop dementia as time go forward. Now, this isn't, it doesn't mean that it's a cause and effect. It doesn't mean that if you uh, don't sleep or sleep very little that you will develop dementia. But it seems that at the very least, like it may be an indicator that's correlated with the onset of dementia. So what you should do is emphasize sleep. We have already known this in other areas, not just in the prevention of dementia, but also in maintaining a healthy weight and in, uh, preventing obesity too, is that sleep is important. Sleep is important for emotional health. Sleep is important for you to feel energized during the day or the following day. So what, what other things can you do to contribute to your sleep? Well, I want to bring into this the, the rest of lifestyle medicine, including avoiding substances that can interfere with your sleep, be it smoking or alcohol or caffeine, especially later in the day. Uh, so those things can clearly interfere with sleep and you should avoid those. If you do drink with dinner or have a drink with dinner, Perhaps you should have that drink a little earlier so that you leave time for the body to metabolize any alcohol before you go to bed and you're hydrating properly so you're not dehydrated. But other things are exercise. Going back to it, you see how this feeds back on itself. If you have a good night's sleep, you'll feel more energetic. You'll be more able to exercise. If you exercise during the day, you may have a more restful sleep at night as well. And with that, there's the nutrition. So if you're well rested and you're sleeping on an appropriate length, you tend to make better choices in your nutrition. It becomes a little easier to do that. And also, if you're sleeping the appropriate length of time, you're not snacking perhaps later at night and you're not eating earlier in the morning and maybe you're not including another snack during the day because you're awake for such a longer period of time. So sleep impacts Nutrition, nutrition impacts sleep. Stress is the other big area. Everybody has an issue with stress at some point here or there. So if you stress less, that does improve your sleep. So, and a good night's sleep also allows you to deal with problems during the day that might otherwise cause you stress. The other component that plays with stress is your social contacts. So what we call Stress less, love more. Well, being able to communicate with friends, being able to share experiences with loved ones um, is another key component of how people uh, manage stress in their lives. So that social component, it may have been impacted by the pandemic, but there are other technologies now that are available for you to communicate via FaceTime or some video conferencing or via social media, be it the phone, a phone call 
or be it exercising and doing sports in, in a group. So you can exercise in a group and you have that social component. You can play a sport with others and you have that, so that social component. And that again feeds back into the whole sleep. So if you're having issues with one particular area or another particular area in the whole lifestyle paradigm that I've talked about in some of the other videos, you can work with an area that you're better at. And as you improve in that area, you'll see that maybe you get a positive feedback in an area you're having difficulty with. A lot of people talk about weight. Weight is a big issue in the United States and the developed world. Uh, Sometimes it is best not to address that head on, but to hit all these other little components, like the component of sleep, the component of stress, the component of exercise. And as those things start to fall into place, you bring in the issue of your food selection, your nutrition, making healthier choices during the day as, as you're eating. If you have those other components more taken care of, more managed, it may be easier for you then to make good choices during the day in, in terms of your nutrition. So when I, I want you to think about lifestyle, I want you to think of the whole unit. And yes, you might have an issue in one particular area or two particular areas. You might have a problem area that you want to work on, be it because you have a particular condition. But you can deploy these other levers that can feed back on that main area and maybe give you some support in getting that taken care of. So again, think about lifestyle medicine as a whole. Think about the issue of sleep as being important. Don't sacrifice sleep for some other component, but try to build it all together so that it comes together and you have a sense of well-being and you are, in the end, healthier. Again, these are things that are within your control. You can do it. If you're feeling miserable or frustrated or anything like this because of something you're trying to take care of, you're probably doing something wrong. Take a step back. Look at the bigger picture. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. Keep at it. Again, I'm Dr. Nunez for, for Life, uh, Living Health. If you like these videos, press the thumbs up, press subscribe, Press the little bell so you, we could be notified of future videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.